Well, welcome to the house. And I thought during the coronavirus crisis here, as we're all in lockdown, I just take a little walk through the house and show you some of what's on the walls here. And we can start in the dining room. And a big guy, Pablo Picasso, 1917. This is the study that led up to Caballero Corneado. Pardon my Spanish. It's on the walls of the Picasso Museum in Barcelona. And incredibly, I came across, not looking for it, but just stumbled on it, the actual day in a biography of Picasso where he sketched this, June 23rd, 1917. He leaves Paris, goes back to Barcelona, and on June 23rd, he goes to the bullfight, one of his favorite things to do. And he starts sketching. And the whole business of the bull goring the horse, which happened a lot then, becomes a symbol in his mind of other bigger things. And so he begins to try different sketches of that, settles on this, and it's now on the walls in Barcelona, in the Museum Picasso. Now over here, from the perspective of fame, would be just the opposite. And one of the fun things about collecting art is resurrecting the nearly lost reputation of someone who's produced work that hits home with you. And I fell in love with this the moment I saw it. And I have to tell you, at auction, it was in pretty terrible shape. But here in Augusta, a young woman by the name of Tracy Cook, who was brilliant at restoration, did all of that, and it sits here now in museum quality. Carlos Martinez Rivera. He was basically an art professor at the universities around Bogota, Colombia. And of course, his day job was teaching, but at night he would produce his own work. And in the mid-1950s, uh, another tyrant came to power in Colombia, as they so often seem to do in South America and Central America, by the name of Rojas Pinilla. And he promised them, of course, the world. And he gave them the usual secret police, deaths everywhere, and by the end of the 50s, they drove him out of Colombia. But he did a lot of damage in the interim, and this is a protest. And that's what I love about Latin American art. So much of it is about social change, because heaven knows, with one tyrant after another coming to power all over Central and South America, they had plenty to protest about. He was born in 1902, taught in Bogota, and we're left with only a handful of pieces, and he's nearly forgotten. Though we don't have a death date on Carlos Martinez Rivera, I did find in the Library of Congress a 1977 poster about an art show, which I think must have been an end-of-career tribute or an after-death retrospective. Carlos Martinez Rivera. It's called Victima. And finally, moving to our right here is my Henri Matisse. And this came around 2004, about a year after the Picasso. So this forms kind of the beginning of my collecting. Because when you begin to uncover these things, the excitement of it, it becomes addictive. So here comes this drawing by Henri Matisse. And that's all I know about it. I don't know a year. I don't know who's pictured. But over time, diving into anything I could learn about Henri Matisse, I come across the etching this led to. And it makes sense. If you're going to turn out an etching, you've got to do a drawing first. But I still didn't know who was pictured, and I figured I would never know. So it turns out I would learn from an account of a 1955 show at MoMA, MoMA in New York, Museum of Modern Art, that in the summer of 1914, Matisse and his family vacationed on the coast of the Mediterranean in France, small village there, and he took with him a model to get him through the summer and all the subject matter he wanted to cover. Well, he takes a break somewhere in the summer from painting and decides to do a series of etchings, family, friends, and the model. So I'm turning the pages of a Matisse book, and there in front of me is my drawing, only it's an etching, one of an edition of 15 and it identifies her as Lulu Browdy, and he included her in this series of etchings. The etching became known as Lulu Distracted, and that is Lulu Browdy. Now my hope, my intention is to do this in installments, work my way through the house during this coronavirus hunkering down. So thanks for being with me and join me next time.